Okay, I'm going to do the I style video. And it's Revelation 3, 18, 19. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mightest be rich. That's talking about the faith process. And Peter talks about that too. And white raiment, that thou mightest be clothed. And the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. That's the righteousness of the saints. That's in Revelation. And this is the important one, the one that the Lord is really dealing with me. And anoint thy eyes with eye salve, that, that, that thou might see. Then he says, As many as I love, I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. That's Revelation 3, 18, 19. The eye salve is what I want to focus on. It's not a coincidence he's talking about it last. God will not give us discernment and perception and understanding unless we are truly walking with Him. It's, it's, I've been doing this for 17 years, walking with Christ, in the best obedience I got, the strictest obedience I have, doing the best that I can do. And let me tell you something, it's taken 17 years for God to really quicken the I South concept to me. And if you obey the Lord, if you continue to obey Him, and you continue to fear Him, then He will start putting eyes, salve on your eyes that you can see. And your vision will get better. Your spiritual perception, your discernment, it will get better. You have to pray. Praying and, you know, walking in the Spirit will get you there. And it will heighten your relationship with the Lord, your spiritual antenna, if you will, so that the Lord is speaking and you're listening because you're in the right place. But basically the eye salve is what Christ will anoint your eyes with so you can see. And you are kidding yourself. That's why I'm making this video because... This really has been made very clear to me after around 17 years. You are kidding yourself if you think you're going to just do small obediences here and, and then do whatever you want over here and not pray and have your own relationship with God, not the one he's calling you to, the one that you want to give him, and that you're going to have eyes. If you don't want to be deceived in these end times, I suggest you have eye salve. I suggest all three, actually. But the eye salve is essentially what's going to help you to overcome. If you have eyes to see, let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you an aspect that a lot of people probably don't know. The eye salve for your eyes so you don't see is not so much so that you can just see something. The Bible says we are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Okay? And where there is no vision, the people perish. Where there is no vision regarding sight, what you see, what you perceive, understand, where there is no vision, the people perish. Okay? Now, it's so important that you have eye salve on your eyes so you can see so that you can have peace when you know something you see it and you discern it on a very deep level you don't fight yourself you're not racking yourself you're, you're not you're not you don't have distresses you see the devil for what he is you see him use people the way he does and you have peace and you ignore it things don't affect you on the same level since God has really anointed my eyes with eye salve so I can see I'm telling you my peace is getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Guess what? My life's getting harder too. But I have more peace. I have more peace now than I did four or five years ago. And my life is way harder today. Way harder. And I have more peace. Because what I didn't see five years ago, I now see. What I didn't understand five years ago, I now understand. It, it's all coming together. And because it's all coming together, I have that perception. And when you see something, you have peace. That's why they make the watchtowers so that you could see the enemy coming from miles away. Guess what? Take away the watchtower. Take it away and see how good that you sleep at night. People would be fretting in their beds, saying, oh, my Lord, the enemy could be 50 feet away and no one would know. But with that watchtower there and with the watchman watching, man, he would signal the town hours before the people would show up because he'd see them coming. So the, the town could get ready to fight. So the watchman... And the perception it gave him gave the townspeople peace so they could sleep at night resting assured that anything coming, that they'd see it. That's what God anointing your eyes with eye salve so you see. It gives you a watchtower so that you can see everything. And I assure you, because you have that sight, you sleep easier. You have rest. You have peace. You're secure. Jesus says, uh, you know, have salt in yourself and be at peace one with another. You're not going to be a salted Christian unless you're doing it, unless you're walking in it. And then Christ will anoint your eyes and you can see. And you'll, you won't be insecure. You won't be pointing the finger. You won't be judging people and, and especially judging things before the time. I'm trying to give you this perspective. 
I've heard a lot of people preach about the other ones, the the white the white robes and you know the uh, tried in the fire, the faith tried in the fire, you know the gold Jesus talks about. I've heard that preached. A lot of people don't preach on the eye salve, and I'm trying to give you this perspective because the eye salve is so essential to have a secure peace in yourself, so you don't judge others and so that you're, you're not uh, distressed in your own mind. Be honest with yourself. A lot of Christians, because I used to be there a lot more. I'm still there in small areas, but I used to be there. I used to distress over so many things I didn't understand, I didn't see, I couldn't perceive. It, it racked my brain. I, I, I now see things differently because the Lord... And here's another thing. When God anoints your eyes with eye salve so you can see, what you see you'll have peace regarding, okay? And you will have a certain level of maturity there too. Okay, I've noticed that in myself over the last basically year, two years, that not only do I have peace regarding it, I have a certain level of maturity where I'm seeing it so differently. I almost see it the way a 90-year-old man would see a circumstance, and just like just just like he's above it, he's so high above it, it it just doesn't get him. You understand? So even if you see, you know this too. You know this is the truth. Sometimes you see things, but they still bother you. That's what I'm trying to explain. It won't bother you. I'm telling you that for certain. It will not bother you. Okay? You will have that peace. And you'll, you'll rise above it like the eagle over the, over the storm. Or that watchtower so you can see everything. And so that you're rested knowing, hey man, and as long as that guy's on the watchtower next to me, I can maybe sleep the next night and I can have peace knowing that everything's taken care of. If you want to rise above everything, I suggest you get the ice out. How do you get it? You obey Christ. You walk with Him, and you keep doing it, and you don't give up. And you quit listening to sinful man. And I, I suggest to you, you quit listening to the people that are even preaching in time stuff in terms of accuracy. Let me tell you something. Ever since a lot of people realize now the preacher of rapture is a lie, and ever since people realize that once they've always saved is probably a lie, they're preaching those things, but then they're taking you in the wrong direction. I would be very weary with listening to people in these end times, and I'm telling you that. I don't care what they preach. Consider what they say, but do not follow them. Do not follow people. Okay? If you want to listen to their teachings, listen to it. Listen to it twice. But do not follow people. Do not get attached. Just consider what they say. Because the, the, the devil's smart. He now knows that many people know the pre a lie once they've always saved the lie. He knows. So he's getting his satanic ministers to start preaching that too. And guess what? If you follow those men... You might as well follow the ones that preach about rapture. At least they'll give you a, a, a greater false sense of security. Because I'm telling you right now that Satan is infiltrating everything. And you have to be wise as serpents, but as harmless as doves. Listen to other people, but never follow them. Ever. Don't do it.